a lineup of young ideas at Olympia for the Daily Mail Schoolboys and Girls exhibition. He wants to join the River Police when he grows up. A heated roller set attached to an electric iron is enough to make any girl's hair curl. A professional hairdo from this home perm kit takes 10 minutes and they do it for free. But if you want to make your hair stand on end, how about this? A 40-foot drop from the highest parachute training equipment ever built. For the boys, it's just a pushover. The girls fall for it too. But you're still one jump ahead with that finished hairdo, and what's more, you're all set for the next hair raising experience. It's the Cybermen, back again after their long battle with Doctor Who, and still ready to take all comers. There's a lot of hair on the Yeti. Somebody should tell him that eating people is wrong. From the reverse angle, no visit to the zoo would be complete without a bag of buns and a handful of monkey nuts. But from now on, London Zoo and Whipsnade will no longer allow feeding by the public. It's in the interests of health and of safety. Remember, one of the elephants died after falling into the ditch reaching for a titbit. Apart from all the fruit, buns, plastic bags and ice cream cartons consumed during the past 12 months at London Zoo, the elephants have collected quite a pile of other indigestibles. No fewer than 14 coats, 12 handbags, 8 gloves, 6 railway tickets and, believe it or not, 10 cameras. As well as damage to property, there's the danger to the public. In one year, 180 people were bitten. But the other result of indiscriminate feeding is the effect on the animal's diet. They can quickly become ill or even die through eating unsuitable food. Perhaps this sums up the danger angle from our point of view. Hand feeding crocodiles on an animal farm in Australia. Even if the animal doesn't always bite the hand that feeds it, it can still end up with indigestion. 